here are the top three glass effects for DaVinci Resolve. They work perfectly for UI animations, especially Apple style designs and give your videos that clean aesthetic look. All right, let's start with the first one, the liquid glass effect. You can download all of these glass presets for free on my Payhip. Just drag the settings file into Fusion Composition. As you can see, the preset has two inputs, one for the background image and one for the shape you want the glass effect to be applied to. The first input will always be used as the background and the second one as the shape. Now this part is really important. For the preset to work correctly, both the background image and the shape needs to match your timeline resolution. The easiest way to do that is by adding a background node and a merge node, connecting your media to the merge and adjusting the size. For the shape, make sure to set the background's alpha to zero so you keep the shape. Once that's done, you will already see the effect. In the inspector, we can now tweak a couple of settings. Refraction strength controls how strong the displacement on the edges is. Spread defines how wide those refracted edges are and softness makes them smoother. With the chromatic aberration slider, you can add an RGB split to the glass. The light edges control gives your shape those bright outlines, which are also affected by the spread and softness values. Blur size makes the image more blurry and with a size control, you can make the glass more magnifying. The shadow section simply controls how the drop shadow behaves. If you want to animate the shape, just insert a transform node or my Hope's Motion Pro preset between the shape and the glass node. For example, you could add a simple X is out animation. The next effect is my Milky Glass preset. Input wise, it works exactly the same as the liquid glass preset. The main focus here is the reflective light edges. This was actually pretty complicated to pull off while still keeping everything fully animatable. So shout out to my bro Escape for finding a solution. Let's go through the settings. First, you have the opacity of an overlay color, which gives the glass a subtle tint. You can change the color right here as well. With blur size, you can make the glass more milky or less see-through. In the bevel and emboss section, you control the thickness and smoothness of the edges. And in the highlight section, it's all about that reflective light look. Contrast controls how wide or narrow the highlight areas are and angle changes their position. What I like to do is animate the angle with an expression like time. As you can see, it automatically rotates around the object. Finally, in the gradient bar, you can change the highlight and shadow colors. For example, you can make the shadows pure black or give them a softer gray tone. Now let's move on to the last effect, the 3D glass. For this one, you will need a 3D object. If you want to learn more about working in 3D, you can check out my full 3D guide. Drag my 3D generator preset into Fusion and load an FBX model. Then right click and choose ungroup to get more space to work. Delete those nodes because we don't need them anymore. Next, drag my free glassy shader into Fusion and connect it to the green input. As you can see, you instantly get a glassy looking 3D object. Inside the glassy shader node, there are two inputs, one for textures and one for reflection maps. You can use anything you want, but the glassy shader pack also includes ready to use maps. For example, you can use a rainbow image as a reflection map to simulate chromatic aberration. And those were my top three glass effects. I hope you will try them out. Check out my editing discord and my pay for even more useful presets. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.